Welcome to the video lecture on Yahoo Antenna. Myself is Tamil Chilvan, assistant professor in the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, working at KIT Kalanjar Karnataka Institute of Technology. So today we are going to discuss about Yahoo Antenna. So these are the contents we are going to describe. So introduction, principle, structure of an antenna, construction, working, merits and demerits, and its applications. So before going into that introduction. we should refresh some basic concepts of antennas so what is an antenna how it will work it is an important tool in communication engineering and it is an electrical device which converts electric power into radio waves which means it radiates electromagnetic energy into free space at the time of transmission and collects electromagnetic energy from free space at the time of reception and it can also use it for matching the transmission line or wave guide to the surrounding medium as we all know without antenna electromagnetic energy would not be radiated and wireless communication over long distances would be impossible so we need a medium for communication so that should be done by the transmission lines and transmission line is used to transport an electromagnetic energy from the transmitting source to the antenna or from the antenna to the receiver so these are the basic concepts behind the antennas so now we are going to discuss the introduction So in the year of 1926, Dr. Shintaro Uda and Dr. Hayasuku Yagi of Japan University invented a directional antenna system consisting of an array of coupled parallel dipoles, and that is commonly called as the Yagi Uda antenna or Yagi antenna. And it is familiar to all. We know that it is the commonest kind of terrestrial TV antenna to be found on the rooftops of houses, and it is usually used at the frequencies. Between 30 megahertz and 3 gigahertz, and the distance covers about 40 to 60 kilometers. And this is the principle of an Yagiuda antenna. So this is an antenna, is an electromagnetic device that collects radio waves. And the basic principle behind this antenna is the phase angle of the current depends on the length of the elements. It means that length of the director and reflector. so we will discuss about the director reflector in the upcoming slides before that the ranges of this director and reflector is length of the reflector is 5 percent which greater than the length of the dipole or the driven element that it will leads to inductive reactance then length of the director is 5 percent which less than the length of the dipole or the driven element which leads to the capacitive reactance these are the two main reasons behind the principle of yahoo uda antenna then we know that it is a high gain antenna we use it for tv signal reception the gain of antenna is around 7 decibel these are the some standard things and this is the structure of an yahoo uda antenna uh, all the elements are placed in the horizontal rod you see that so there are two rods one is vertical rod and another one is horizontal rod so we have to place all the components of the yahoo antenna in the horizontal rod that is the directors driven element reflectors are clamped on a horizontal metallic rod the purpose of vertical rod is to support the horizontal rod here you can see that there are multiple directors the main purpose of using multiple number of directors is to increase the strength and power gain of the signal and this is the construction of details it consists of two parts one is antenna elements we already discussed about the antenna elements and then the uh, antenna beam that is the radiation pattern of the antenna there are three types of elements called as the reflector driven element and directors and driven element is the yahi antenna element to which power is to be supplied and it is normally a half a dipole or a folded dipole then reflector is nothing but it should be placed behind the main driven element and mainly the yahi antenna will have only one reflector then the director is to be placed in front of the driven element that is in the direction of maximum sensitivity and typically each director will add around 1 db of gain in the forward direction so these are the basic concepts of the elements present in the yahi antenna and this is the structure of an radiation pattern of the antenna so this is the radiation pattern and we you see that the direction of main beam the main beam is also called as the main lobe so what is main lobe 
it is a radiation lobe containing the direction of maximum radiation and next one is minor lobe any lobe except the major lobe that is called as a minor lobe so you can see that the minor lobe is classified into side lobe and back lobe side lobe is present adjacent to the main lobe and back lobe is present at the opposite side of the main lobe and these are the some advantages of the yaki antenna uh, it is a high gain antenna we can increase the strength of the signals to be received and the directivity enabling interference levels will be minimized and it is easy to construct the yaki antenna allows all construction elements to be made from rods it is sim uh, simplifying its construction and it enables the antenna to be mounted easily on vertical and other poles with standard mechanical fixings then some demerits for high levels the antenna becomes very strong very long then gain is limited to around 20 db or so for a single antenna and it is sensitive to frequency bandwidth is reduced if the array is constructed with more number of directors and applications it is particularly useful in mainly useful in uh, rf applications where antenna design is required to provide gain in directivity it is used in television reception it is also used as a transmitter in low frequency applications so so far we are discussed the contents of yakuda antenna hope you will understood the concepts of yakuda antenna hopefully we will discuss other types of antennas in the upcoming lectures thank you